Hello Scorpio, how are you doing? This week we are checking into are they worth it? The reason why I want to check into that energy of are they worth it is because we are giving so much of our time and in my personal readings is one of the questions I think I get asked quite a lot, is it worth it? And everybody wants to know, am I wasting my time? Am I giving my heart? Am I going to get hurt, like hurt in the long run? So this is the question we're asking for everybody out there, Scorpio. First question out is going to be their energy. So spirit guides, please show us. Um, your spirit guides, by the way, please show us the uh, energy of Scorpio's person. Let's see what's going on here. By the way, there is also going to be an extended, mm, top one, there is also going to be an extended to this reading as well. My goodness, they just keep saying taking cards, just take. There's going to be an extended, if I can say that, um, to this reading as well, which we're going to be looking into another question. It's like a separate complete reading. Um, the extended is going to ask, it's going to ask the question, Will you guys be together still in the beginning of 2021? And if you are, what will the energies be then? If you want to check that out, if this reading resonates with you, um, you can check that out. Link is in the description box below. Let's see your person's energy. <coughs> I like sprayed something in this room a few minutes ago. Now it's itching my throat. Star card has just come up here in their energy. Who is this person to you? I'm just saying because the star card's energy for a person to carry that, um, that is... This person's like a dream come true. That's literally what it means. When the star card comes out like this, it literally means this is my dream come true. It's almost like you have an image or a projection of what we want in life. You know, when we're small, we kind of like look into the future. It's like we're looking into uh, a movie of our life and we have this image of a person that we want to get married to and who we're going to fall in love with and how they're going to... This is the image of this person. This is almost like a dream come true. And it's like, whoa, coming up in your person's energy. What does it mean? Who are they, spirit guides? How do they view my Scorpios out there? Yeah, working hard. Wow. This person's very impressed with you, hey? Like, hello. If you're impressed with, your, with this person, male or female energy coming up here. If you're looking at your person and you're going like, wow, this person's just perfect for me. This is like my dream come true. And they're looking at you at the Eight of Pentacles energy. It's not like they look at you like you got money. Maybe they do. I don't know. Um, but they're looking at you as being dedicated. Oh, yes, it says they're dedicated effort as well. Being dedicated uh, towards the connection. But I feel like it's not because I even see that the artist is actually painting a couple there. It's almost like dedicated towards them towards the connection as well but I don't feel like it's just that because this is how they view your energy in general I feel like you're really a hard-working person and you're dedicated towards building your own life your own future as well spirit guide just said they, they have this thought of like you work so hard towards your life and to building your future if I'm with this person they will build with me together we can build a future with oh this is nice this is nice guys let's have a look and see how they feel about the relationship they trusting their intuition. Jeez, like this is good. This is nice. Wow, Scorpio. That's your high priestess energy. It's one of my favorite cards. She's so gorgeous. Look at those eyes over there. She's so beautiful. It says they listen. This person is listening to their intuition with regards to you and with regards to something internally inside of them as well. I even think they're looking at you like their star energy as well. Their dream come true. <clears throat> This is very, very good energy. Um, very beautiful energy as well. They're not just trusting uh, what they see practically. There's something internally inside of them that is pulling them towards your, your into this relationship. This is very, very nice, Scorpio. Let's see. Of course, I'm going to ask the weird question. You know, if you've been to my readings before, you know I ask strange questions sometimes. Let's see what you guys are maybe ignoring about them. <coughs> I just got a cough. Trust me to spray something in the room. Why are you ignoring the love, darlings? I'm <laughs> just saying. This may be something that you're ignoring. Okay. Um, Scorpio, I am not surprised that you're ignoring the lover's card. Um, I want to tell you something. You may brush this away. I don't know if you think about this and then you kind of go, no, uh-uh, no, 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 it's not, it's not. Um, I don't know if it's almost like a part of you that doesn't believe in this, but for some of you guys, um, you may be thinking this, is, this could be your soulmate. There's something spiritual going on here, I've got to tell you, between you and your person's connection. Um, I think you're kind of trying to ignore it. It scares you maybe, just a tiny little bit. Um, the thing is...
thing is here, because you're the eighth house, eighth, eighth house, you know, you, you're very practical. I'm not surprised. Look at this eight of pentacles energy, very practical energy. But you also got that tendency to kind of see the spiritual thing sometimes more than people think you can. And, I, and sometimes you tend to ignore it a little bit. Um, there's something here that niggles you about this connection. Um, something about this person's energy. I think sometimes thoughts pass your mind sometimes that you go, could this be like a twin flame? And then you go, no, 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 I don't believe in that. No, 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 no. And then weird things maybe happen a little bit strange, like you dream about each other or you sort of say the same thing at the same time or funny little things that just don't seem normal, little synchronicities, little deja vu moments, you know. And this may be something that you push aside a bit. Um, you may also get an inkling feeling, by the way, I'm just going to put this one out there, um, that you know this person. Actually, you feel like you know them. Everything seems just so smooth and um, you may actually feel like you know this person beyond the time that you're living in now. Um, these are a lot of funny things that may be coming up right now with this person's energy. Um, you may be choosing not to really look at it, might be a bit scary. Um, like, whoa, if it's something like that, then whoa, what if I get hurt in the future? Let me not think about this, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, there's something, so it's a very strong spiritual connection between the two of you. Whatever it is that you're thinking about with regards to this person, there's a possibility it's it's quite true, <laughs> like maybe 100% true, <clears throat> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know what to say to you guys. I, what is this connection based on? This is crazy, Scorpio, you're reading. <laughs> um, the Wheel of Fortune has just come up in the center. The most important card is this card, because this has got to do with what this connection is based on. There is absolutely... And definitely something going on here, guys. I'm just saying the Wheel of Fortune talks about fated things that happen. It talks about divine intervention. It talks about spiritual connection. It talks about things unfolding exactly as they are meant to unfold. It talks about soul contracts between people that before they get born, they sign those contracts. And when they're born, there's a specific moment and time that you meet that person. Yes, we have free will, but there's other things that are meant to happen. Some stuff is a free open script, you know what I mean? But other stuff, stuff is kind of scripted. And guess who scripts it? We do. We write the script, okay? And... Um, Yes, we do. Can you believe that? We write all this nonsense into our life before we get here. We think we're so clever. And then when we get here, we're like, what was I thinking? And this, this, is, this is an event that has taken place between you and this person. This is crazy reading, I have to tell you. To have the star card, the eight of pentacles, the higher energy coming up here, the high priestess, which is intuition, inside knowing. And then you see the lover's card with the wheel of fortune. Uh -uh, there's a very big spiritual connection. This is an extremely deep thing that is happening between you and this person. How scary is this? I don't know. That's I would ignore it too. I'd pretend, like, oh no, that's fine. Let's not talk about it. You know what I mean? So let's have a look into future energy for you guys. Spirit guides, what is going on from now until the end of the year for these two, these two people? And this is good. It's in the reverse position. You got your five of wands energy. It says challenging times. This is five of wands. This is debate. <clears throat> um, this is a back and forth energy. I don't feel like, honestly, I'm going to tell you something. This has not got to do with um, you and this person, by the way. This has got to do mainly with your energy. I'm picking it up very strong. Do you kind of like see here, you remember what I was just talking about? Everything that I was just kind of saying, it's in this one card here. There is this confusion a little bit. I don't know if it's associated to you or to both of you. It's almost like I can't believe this kind of energy. Like I can't believe this. Like is this for real? Is this for real kind of energy? And it's going to go on back and forth as you see this unfolding. There's a lot of things I'm going to tell you that's going to be in my world, not weird at all, because trust me, when you read tarot cards like I do, when you work with spirit like I do, weird things just seem to be normal after a little while. It's going to start happening a little bit more and more with you and this person between now and the end of the year. Like odd things, like funny things, like you buy the same takeaways on the same day. You phone, you you switch on your like your WhatsApp, for instance, and you're WhatsApping each other, or you're calling each other at the same time, or you pick up the phone and they're calling you. Funny little things that just maybe they're already happening, 
prepare for this to speed up a little bit more. It's going to start happening more and more. You're going to laugh about this even. It's going to cause a bit of confusion, I think, in your mind or both of your minds about what is going on. Is this normal? Absolutely normal, guys. In the world of spirits, they just said it's absolutely normal. Um, this is a very deep connection that you have with this person. It is normal for these signs to pop up because spirit wants you to know what is going on and how deep the connection goes. Whew. You're going to be confused by that, but don't worry. I'm confused every day. It's fine. But this is just go with the flow. This is something that is just moving into your world. Um, it's really a major connection. So let's have a look and see what lessons do you have. Lessons. Please trust the unfolding of divine time. This is the four of wands in the reverse position. Joy and stability is coming for you guys, by the way. Okay, joy and stability is coming in. This talks about celebration. It talks about um, that special day that you celebrate with a person can be marriage as well. I told you this is a major connection. They are asking you, please, the lesson that you need to learn is to trust the unfolding of divine time. There is going to be things that happen in this connection that is actually going to make sometimes things not unfold because I see you working very hard at making this to be real, you see? And sometimes things are not going to unfold in exactly the moment that you want them to, but they are unfolding in guess what? Once again, divine timing. Nothing is out of place in your guys' connection. When something doesn't work out on the time it's supposed to work out, for instance, if you guys say we want to move in together and something happens where, say, your partner or you maybe has to work away for a while and you only move in in two months, um, don't feel like that's wrong. And it's like, oh, no, I can't believe this is happening. No, it's actually perfectly divinely timed as that. And you let go, you flow. And when you flow, you're just going to see why everything is happening the way. Wow. Can I tell you guys, um, Scorpio spirit has a divine a hand in your in this situation. And um, I think it's because something that it's both of you, you know, your souls before you met um, have spoken about this with each other. This is quite deep, you guys. And um, you've asked that the spirit guides that are with you help this to be for the two of you because you guys are learning lessons of trust. Okay, this is just beautiful. Gee whiz, Scorpio. Woo! Well, here I am going to the reading thing, you know, it's just going to be, no, oh, no, not for Scorpio. So let's go. Let's get your spirit guides, these spirit guides advice out for you guys with regards to moving into here to the end of the year. So let's have a look and see. <clears throat> Trust in the divine timing, guys. Sometimes. This is Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. And this talks about joy and stability, which is what is found in the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. You see? There is something unfolding in your life. Both of these cards are in the reverse position. This does indicate the home that you want to have, the children that you want to have in that home, and the stability, the growth, the life that you want to build, the dream that you want to have with the person that you love. It is in the reverse position. It does mean sometimes there is some kind of um, interference coming in to stop that from being as strong as you want it to be. Um, Oh, are you learning more lessons than you think in this one? They're actually showing another lesson here. Um, sometimes things happen that cause that home to get unstable. Um, even if you guys are like already living together, there can be things that happen. Somebody can lose their job. Somebody can um, have to, like I said, work away from home for a short period of time. That causes the Ten of Pentacles to get upside down. I mean, sometimes we just get into a situation where money doesn't want to do what it's meant to do. Causes things to get upside down. Um, that is normal part of life. And these are the things sometimes that we have to just flow with. Know that that, that that does not stay like that forever. It eventually ends and things move again. It's like that. We have, we go, everything's like a roller coaster. Roller coaster. It's like an algorithm. You know what I mean? Up and down, up and down. You have to ride it through because there's a lesson again that they want to show you. What brings you guys together is this. It is your Queen of Cups energy. You guys have got a very strong connection to each other. And whatever things you have to face, even the challenging times that has come up here, the back and forth energy of life itself, the Ten of Pentacles getting in the reverse position and having to wait for things to get more step and this is so interesting, joy and stability. And I was just talking about that. Waiting for that stability to come in the way you want it to come in. It can be 
they're those waves, you know, they are made easier to ride them out with somebody next to you that loves you. And this person has that with you. The Queen of Cups is a very loyal, loving energy. I feel like this is both of you. Especially a Queen of Cups coming out with a with a lover's card like that. That is so beautiful. Both of you and your energy especially is so dedicated towards the future. They are just coming in this with you. They are all in as you are. There is feelings and love involved in this connection. This is very, very beautiful. Um, ride out whatever things don't work, always work out. You keep going with each other forward because it will in the future. Wow, Scorpio, holy moly, <sighs> my goodness gracious spirit guides, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful message. If you guys want to check out the extended, we're going to look into 2021 now and kind of see what's the beginning going to be like. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box below, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching the reading. It means so much to me. I'm sending so much light and love to you. Bye.